Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So we haven't done one of these in quite a long time. Um, if you haven't figured out already, a uh, reset just happened somewhat recently. And this banner is a thing, and I, I think you should probably know by now that we're going to actually be summoning for Takumi. Um... Technically speaking, it's a waste of orbs because the only thing he really has is close counter. There's definitely units like, say, Legendary Krom, now that I have him at plus 10, if I don't want to build another one. Um, then, you know, he has close counter and low attack defense, for example, or close counter rouse defense res for the units that can't run low attack defense and whatnot. So, you know, there's some value there, but... I'm just summoning on this banner, well for close counter, but kind of just because I don't usually use orbs on banners that aren't legendary or mythic, <laughs> uh, mythic heroes banners, so go figure, uh, might as well see how hard we get memed on. Of course this isn't a new heroes banner, but it is 4% a focus rate, so we'll be going for 2 here. I have 648, that does not guarantee at all that I'll get two. We'll see how things go as we go through- well this is a great start. <laughs> um, I'll just go ahead and go full circle for the memes, it's a bad idea. Like, raising the pity rate at this point, pretty meaningless. We could get something, but I highly doubt it. Uh, it's just, uh, just again. The fact that we don't really do this often. <laughs> and we get a stall, of course, because why not? We're just gonna get a full circle three stars, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we're not getting really much here. There's at least, like, I think stall comes with swap or something. And he also has abstract if you want to do something with that. I was using abstract, though, in, like, Roker Sieges. Lanku's fine. Um, I think at this point I have way more than enough copies to plus 10 him if I want to. But he also has Vantage and Glimmer, which are both useful fodder for a bunch of units. Because I kind of just use base kit on like everything I have. <laughs> but yeah, I don't expect to get anything from this first circle. We're just doing it for shizzles and giggles. Um, there's really no reason to be doing it. Especially this green orb here. If I wouldn't stop lagging. Uh, especially this green orb, there's no focus unit. <laughs> there's, there's probably like absolutely no reason, unless we just randomly get pity broken by Hector or something. Well, we got another reason, that's nice. I believe I have enough copies at this point of plus 10 M, so that's cool. But as you can see, we don't have the feathers, so <laughs> not great. And so now we're just going to spam snipe Cautilus. And I haven't decided at what point do I summon full circle if I get pity broken, but I don't expect this banner to go well, <laughs> even though it's 4%. I know when I summoned for Hector though, that was ham. That was some real ham going on. <laughs> um, who knows, Takumi's uh, feeling a bit um, outdated at this point, feels bad man. One of the first refines, it was definitely an interesting refine, but of course that didn't really help his actual combat potential, so... Uh, yeah, and of course he's still one of... He's not even in the permanent pool anymore, you have to summon him like this banner to get him. <laughs> but getting Kaze is nice though. Um, yeah, he's one of the only units in the... that hat in the original summoning pool regular summoning pool, whatever you want to call it, that has close counter. Now we're getting finally a few, <laughs> aka like one, but uh, or two, if you want to count like legendary Krom, but that's that's definitely pushing it a little far. But yeah, pretty much expect a bunch of suffering on this banner. I, there's nothing, there's kind of a reason I don't summon on these banners, it's because of like, if you actually do the math and stuff, I believe banners like this actually have better rates than uh, legendary heroes banners and mythic hero banners. 
Um, and of course, like new new heroes or special heroes, stuff like this has better rates. But uh, there we go, first Takumi. Woo! <laughs> Didn't take too long, thank goodness. And then now we're just gonna go into a fat dry streak or something, and get meme done. I think again for shizzles and giggles, we'll just go around all red, the full circle, because um, I've been trying to get stuff in the red pool, three and four star pools, and they just don't show up. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's not great. Pala's fine. I don't know if I'm ever going to actually build Pala. She's definitely a pretty decent for arena assault as a green check because of course she comes with a, a TA weapon. But again, I don't expect anything from here. I'm just summoning, trying to fish for stuff because we do get a decent amount of free summons, but I'm gonna be honest, it's still, if, if you're just exclusively stockpiling orbs, it's, it's not really a lot. <laughs> Um, you're definitely, like, I do have a ton of books, manuals, whatever you want to call them, but it's because I don't summon that often. I have to, I used to stockpile for months and months on end, and, uh, <laughs> things don't go very well in terms of, uh, building units when you don't summon often enough. So that was, like, I don't even know what that was, 80 orbs? Maybe a little less. I think that's actually below average, like, or above that. Below average as in it's more orbs than it should take, I think, for on average. But uh, yeah, 90th percentile is basically the only thing I care about, so. <laughs> I think after we get our second Takumi, if this is Takumi, we'll just finish the circle. Uh, but it's just Brady. Don't have enough copies of him to build him up, but at this point, it's kind of like I just don't have the feathers to go around. Unfortunately, like I'm currently building up Valbar for Earth Season, and I think I'm gonna switch Glen Gwendolyn over to Earth Season or something. I definitely do not need all my armors in Water Season at this point. Getting some cleanse definitely nice. I could build him up if I want to, although I probably won't. But he has Death Blow. And a uh, quick repost too if I want to go budget, which I basically always do, so. <laughs> uh, hopefully we don't take too many orbs. Um, worst case scenario, we get pretty broken at a massively large percent, and I just might call it a day at that point, or I might push my luck. But let me, I'm gonna be honest, it, it usually, the quote-unquote luck I get is from waiting, taking way too long, stockpiling a lot of orbs and going into one banner. So it kind of like cushions variance to a degree. It just so happens that the past two times I've done it, I've gotten ridiculously good results um, and a bunch of memes along the way, but. In general, yeah, it's definitely a big waiting game. I've already plus 10 Legault at this point, so every new Legault is... I don't think I'll need the cleaner plus on anyone, so it'd be like attack tactic, which... Definitely could put that on some people, for sure. I think we'll just go red again, just fishing the 3 and 4 star pool. My Luna's at plus 6. Uh, who else? I've already plus 10 Marv, so I don't particularly need him, but he has Pivot, which is definitely useful for some of my Arena Assault armors, because uh, I run a lot of base kits, and well, uh, the problem with that is um, if you want to get the heck out of there if you're armor, you don't have Armor March or Guidance or anything, <laughs> they're kind of just stuck <laughs> with one movement. It's kind of bad. So Pivot's definitely nice. Um, it also has escape route, but uh, I don't think that's going to come in handy anytime soon. Escape route's definitely fun if you can set it up and do things with it. Like, on any given day, if you could have Wings of Mercy or escape route procced on like a dancer, ignoring the fact you have to set up either one, escape route's just straight up superior because you can teleport to any of your allies rather than just any of them that are 
Um, less than or equal to 50% of half health, basically. At uh, tier 3, I do still have a couple of uh, Wings of Mercy 2s running around. And uh, I guess I'll include the barracks stuff because it shouldn't take that long in theory. In theory, trademark. Just quickly going through IVs plus res. Takumi, sure. Hopefully I don't goof anything here. Cause I have like plus speed Brady. It's something I guess I'll keep that around. Why not? I don't think I'll ever go plus speed. I don't know how to say her name. I I just say Latchesses from watching Lulu's videos from way back when. <laughs> it's like Lakisa's. I don't know. Uh, what is the pity rate? 4.67 slash is 2 pity rate increases so far. Nothing too special. Um, because, you know, that's... It's still a decent amount of orbs. like 50 plus orbs. Or so. Given I'm basically only summoning single orbs. Oh boy. The earlier we can get out of here, the better though. But the game knows how to troll. The game knows what's going on, so uh, we can only expect troll results. Um, so yeah, pretty average stuff so far. Nothing really mind blowing. If we hit about average rates, we're getting close to the point where we're gonna get a second Takumi, I believe. I could have the numbers mixed up by a crud ton though. So, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be about 100 orbs per Takumi, just to like ballpark it. Um, we'll see how we fare with that. I think we started at like 6, somewhere near 650, I don't even remember. <laughs> so, um, we'll, we'll have to see afterwards. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna get a lot of healer, healers and stuff because that's... A big portion of the three and four star colorless pool. Nothing too mind blowing about that. Now we're at five percent. Pretty standard stuff. Um, single colorless orbs. Kind of surprised to see a lot of greens, considering well, there's no green focus, and just in general, green orbs are the least common orb you'll you'll see in general, given any random banner. Uh, you definitely will not see as many greens as other orbs, but apparently we're just getting a lot of greens. <laughs> uh, we'll go green here. Worst case scenario, you get pity broken by a five star in the green pool, which generally speaking is not terrible. And uh, I don't have Hinoka, so it would be technically nice to pick her up randomly for the hero merit, but that would literally be it. 5.33%. Now we're getting to the point where things can get troll. Oh wait, I was about to summon the red orb because I thought the colorless orb was uh, not the color that Takumi's on. Oh gosh, I'm so brain dead. This is a totally excellent idea to be summoning while brain dead because I, I know something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> not including the rates here. Um, okay, another four red, one color cycle, but this time it's in the bottom right, so let's see if we can just close it out here. It would be a nice circle. Yep, there we go. Yay, we can just close out this red circle. It's a decent pity rate. Maybe we might pick up our first Ryoma just because of this. Again, it would just be the, for the hero merit, <laughs> which is uh, feathers for me. So, um, drugs nice though, because I have like four drugs in total. Somehow he does not show up that much, but uh, that doesn't mean I want three more drugs here. <laughs> Ideally, like Lilina's been at plus six for ages. She just does not show up for some reason. It's not, Ares is a good pickup though. I don't have very many of him either. He also doesn't show up that much. Uh, I did use a couple copies of Ares for Brazen Tech Defense, like on my Ana, which I don't particularly regret. It was for bumping up to the next scoring bin and whatnot, and it's been working out ever since, so it's not like it was a terrible idea. Anna here, um, don't know when I'm going to plus tenor just for arena assault purposes, because currently at, uh, plus zero, 
not very, er, plus one, plus two, something. She's merged up a tiny bit. Currently not, not particularly great. Um, definitely lacks bulk and whatnot. So, all right, there we go. Second Takumi, he's plus attack. Not particularly relevant, but I'll, I'll just keep that Takumi around for the memes, uh, because why not? We'll definitely make this a uh, plus res Takumi a book. We're, n we're never building. I, I could build a plus res wrist and just make him a decent res tank or plus speed. <laughs> I already have a plus attack Aries and let me just make sure. Yeah, plus attack Aries and I already have a plus speed and plus attack Anna and a plus attack Sophia already. So all this is just books. Easy peasy. We'll just keep this plus stack of Takumi around because it doesn't really hurt us. Um, also randomly free summoned. I call her a green, but in in the v, the voice acting, it's a gren or something. So I'm just going to arbitrarily choose which one every single time. Which way I want to pronounce her name. I got off this free summoning on this banner, I believe. So kind of weird but uh, that's how it goes more hero merit for me <laughs> yeah uh, manuals here at this point pretty decent collection of manuals it's uh, it's mostly just chilling out with <laughs> a bunch of books you'll notice there's a lot more blue manuals kind of because I I've summoned a lot of blue for like legendary heroes banners, going for like legendary Azura, going for Fiorm, all that stuff. So we have quite a few of those, and we have a decent amount of colorless because we are, we've been also going for like legendary Alm and stuff on a couple of banners. But yeah, in general, we still have quite a ways to go in terms of stuff. I could definitely uh. But definitely a lot of blue books. <laughs> so many blue books. But yeah, that's my that's my books. And uh, someone wanted a barracks tour, I guess you if you want to call it. So I'm just I'm just gonna have it sorted by level because that's how I have it sorted. I, I don't I don't sort by a rarity like I see a lot of people do. I'm one of the weird people that sorts just by level. And then typically by HM as well, if I'm like HM farming. But anyways, this is going to be pretty long at this point. So if you just were here to watch the summoning, then that, that'll be it. That's that's it for uh, the summoning. I'll just be going through my barracks, mostly going through the five stars and then quickly go through the um, four stars and whatnot that I have at the bottom. Of course, these builds may or may not be optimal because either they were like remnants of an arena assault build and skills and seals and skill sets and whatnot have been flying around, so... What you see may or may not be representative of what I typically run on them, but uh, for the most part, a lot of the stuff is the same. We're actually almost done with this meme speed ticky. Uh, hopefully that'll get done sometime soon. I, I might have like an adult ticky book that you saw <laughs> in the uh, book list. But yeah, the one is at plus six. She'll be a uh, plus ten. Oh yeah, Sylvia also does not. She show she's shown she's she has shown up quite a bit, but not quite enough to plus tens yet. So uh, I am holding on to a plus speed copy though. I should probably be showing merges too, but I don't really care. This is just plus five. It's basically going downhill from here. These units are plus five. Uh, Jafar, <laughs> way back when, funny story. I was going for Takumi, again for close counter, and Jafar kept showing up because he was sharing focus. And uh, that was a big meme. Went from from a not having Jafar to have him uh, kind of merged up. So that's interesting. It was also kind of more recent when his Refine came out, I believe. So back then it was kind of more exciting, I guess, but not really even. 
Uh, young Tiki is all off pity breakers. Most of these units are actually just off pity breakers if they're not promotable to five stars. And now we just have a bunch of remnants of when the four star merged up units you see. It's just the remnants of way back when, when combat manuals were, weren't a thing. So if you wanted, if you ran out of barrack space, your only options were to send the units home for feathers or to merge them up. And so I decided let's just merge them up because why not? So you have just these rando merged up units, four star units that at some point we'll get around to, um, we'll, we'll get around <laughs> to it all. But yeah, nothing really impressive here. You'll definitely see a lot of base kits a lot of base kits and for the older units um, you'll definitely see a maybe a bit of skill inheritance because that back then um, I definitely needed it for some content but yeah nothing too special here I have a lot of five stars compared to say someone who's recently started playing but that's because I started playing Essentially at launch, it was like a week after launch, same difference, not exactly part of the launch squad gang or whatever they call themselves, um, launch gang, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of these units are purely from free summons, <laughs> uh, any of these five stars, like, loot, I never specifically dumped orbs to go for a lot of these units they just happen to be pity breakers that's how i've gotten most of my five stars just off of pity breakers of course a couple you know it was their banner and i decided to free summon on that banner and i ended up getting them summer xander uh i i was like summer of 2017 or something it was one of the units it was one of the banners I actually used orbs on because back then I didn't really stockpile that many orbs. I did save orbs and stuff, but my uh, <laughs> summoning luck back then was pretty garbage. So yeah, pretty pretty rough back then. Still remember those days. Definitely got memed on those summer banners though. You'll see I have a couple <laughs> couple of units around that really shouldn't be around. If, if I was, if I played back then like I do now, yeah, we're almost at the end of the uh, five star list. Picked up Silk from a rando free summon, so that's pr that was pretty cool. Definitely helps out in Roker sieges and stuff, arena assault and whatnot. At this point, this is just my collection of units of of mostly IVs I want to build them with or something to that degree. Not exactly, but um. I keep one copy of each unit I get, and I try to get the quote-unquote optimal IV that I want to use for building them. Typically there's like a debate between two of them or something, so you'll see multiple copies. This is the uh, free-to-play Takumi that I'm just going to keep because why not? <laughs> but yeah, Kaze probably going to be running plus speed on, I'm not sure yet, but uh, yeah, it's just all the units I have, and I'm keeping plus speed legendary Julia around in case I want to switch to that, but likely just gonna go plus attack like I do now. And I'm thinking about switching Sylvia to plus speed over plus HP like I am right now. And kind of same idea for Tiki do I go plus attack or plus speed? And Elowood. I think at some point if I actually go try hard, I have to go plus speed Elowood over plus attack, but for now my plus 10 Elowood is plus attack, so we're gonna just deal with that. But yep, yeah, at this point, that's the entire barracks. So there's nothing left but the end of the episode now. So thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!